right now on Vegas Strip. Why would you like to oh. dance in the street? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not drunk, I'm just crazy. We just spotted a known prostitute. You ain't gonna try to run, are you? I'm not a running bitch. But you got me, you got me. I don't care. Let me see your hands. Now. He says, I'm gonna get you. I said, really? And then what? I says, I'm gonna stick you. White male running around with no shirt on. He broke one of our uh, fire extinguishers. Charles, they said 41 on channel for TV. Stop right now! You never know what to expect. Things change very quickly. Things can happen to drop any second. And that's what makes the job exciting and fun. Well, it looks like we got a lady out here dancing outside of her car. She can be driving, so we need to remind her to stop the club. She's supposed to be driving. Go get her, go get her. In all seriousness, she could have caused an accident or even hurt herself. A lot of people get accidents here on the boulevard. It's kind of a crazy place to drive. You know what really good is you try to run from us. What? What are you doing? You know what? I will be honest with you. Can I take my seatbelt off? Yeah. Right. Can I come out? Is that right? Are you drunk? No, I wish. Can I come out? Why would you like do dance in the street? Honestly, can I be honest with you? Can I get out? I know you yeah, have to Yeah, don't lie to me. <laughs> can I get out though? Yeah, if you want to, come on. I, I'm really fat. Go stand in front of the car. All right. Honestly, my name's Marissa. I'll give you. I'll give you my ID. That's Holly. I'm gonna be real. Go stand in front of my car. Okay. I'm kind of big, so I'm not that appetizing. All right, I don't care. Stand in front of my car, not on the side. Face towards the light. All right, what's your deal? I'm gonna be on Real Housewives of Las Vegas. That's okay. Holly. And I've been taking videos of us being stupid, like idiots. Like this? Yeah. I love the camera. I, I know, I know I f***ed up. I'll give you my ID. I'm cool, I'm totally cool, I'm not drunk. I just really wanna get videos of Why Holly you dancing with like, lunatic, what? Why are you acting like you're drunk? Oh God, I wish I was drunk. Well, Just, why'd you stop in the middle of the road? Yeah. That's honestly, how we want to get videos of her dancing with random people because. So why can't you just get out of the car and do that? Yeah, why why can't you just park somewhere and do that? I'm trying to get on a reality show and I really want it really bad. And um, go ahead, I'll do it. I'll find. <laughs> I'm alright though to drive. But we just come from the Aria and we met these awesome lesbos. There like four lesbos who were awesome and I made out with one of them on camera because I thought it would be cool. Oh, of course, everything's on camera with you. I love it. Who's your, who's your friend? Oh, that's Holly. All right, Holly, come over here. Uh-oh. Who is she? She's awesome. She'll tell you. I'm not going to say Hello, Holly. Hi. What's going on, Holly? What do you do now? Why were you dancing? Because it was a bet. It was a bet? Not too much. We had a little fun earlier, and we were just dancing around. The lesbos. I love the lesbos. I made she out with a, one. No, she was like a butch. 500 just pounds, butch. and I she loved her. It was a butch. I loved her. Sugar guy. But... I'll make out with her right now if you want me to. No. Don't no. do that. I don't... I'm sorry. I'm not drunk. I'm just crazy. Holly, that dumb lick right there, jumped down. She goes, hey, let me dance to see if we can get some guys. Maybe I'll make $10 to pay for my cab. And she did. And then, boom, what happens? The freaking cops pull up. All right, pretty much uh, through the chaos, uh, we got some IDs. We're going to figure out what's going on. Oh, it's just like a bunch of people trying to have fun, but can't be stopping on the street. First, I thought she was going to be intoxicated, but then after uh, a little more investigation, we were able to determine she wasn't. Basically, we're going to let them off with a warning this time. They were just loud and obnoxious and, uh, you know, just kind of all over the place. Hey, you can't be doing that. You can't be dancing in the street. I know it's funny, but you could have seriously caused an accident. It's Las Vegas. You know what I mean? I just always want to have fun. It's hey, the greatest city in the world. And I know you guys are, like, super serious all the time and so nice to us. I, I apologize. I really respect you. And I'm, 
It will never happen again, I promise. I promise. You won't pop it anymore. I can't right. say I won't beat up a hooker next weekend, but I, I will never let this lunatic drive, really? you know, and jump my out fault. of a car and my be like, fault. yeah, look at my boobs. I promise, I swear to God. Okay. I messed up, you're right. All you're right, people. you guys take it easy. Bye. Have a nice night. She's such a hoe, ain't she? She's such a hoe. I love it. Everything's fucking um, they can't be stopping in the street, blocking traffic, and then uh, they definitely can't be getting out of the vehicle and dancing. That's one of the crazy stops I've had. You ain't gonna try to run, are you? I'm not a running bitch. What you got me, you got me. I don't care. White male running around with no shirt on. We find him. Pants around his ankles. Oh, no. I'm not jump, I'm jump. After I got out of the military, opportunity was opened up to me to uh, join the police department out here. And uh, I'd always heard nothing but good things uh, about the job as a whole. Decided to try it out for myself, and uh, it's been great ever since. How you guys doing? Working on the strip presents its own hazards and weird tales of wonder. It's a largely tourist population on the strip. It's a real dynamic environment with a lot of people. 99% of them are out here just looking to have a good time and not to cause any trouble. 733 on channel for once. Blocking the sidewalk up here is a crime. You can stand out here, you can be out here. What's that? Count me out. Of what, dude? What happened to your hand? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? I'm telling you. Tell me what? I'm telling you twice. Tell me twice, so what happened, man? I'm telling you nothing happened to my mother. Hand. I tell well, you, you can, twice. You can be on your way, dude. Happened to my hand. Okay. I'm gonna walk. Well, stop mistake. bothering me. How's that sound? My mistake. Don't want to mean that disrespect. Keep going, man. Sorry if, uh, Last time I, I would tell you to keep walking. I'm not better. Keep walking. Most of our visitors here to Las Vegas Strip come out here to have a good time and uh, enjoy themselves. However, there's always got to be a fly in the ointment, and someone's just got to take it too far. And uh, Obviously, we can't have that with uh, the large tourist population we have here. Oh, why is he going to come back? I just know he's going to come back. Well, if he comes back, he's going to jail for obstructing, so... Officer Wandick and I patrol the strip. We like to target a lot of the prostitutes because we have, like, a no-tolerance uh, policy, so... We come into contact with these girls on a daily basis, and we arrest the same girls two to three times a week, every week. Just right there. Yeah. We just spotted a known prostitute. We're going to stop and talk to her and see where she's headed to. Excuse me, ma'am. Come here. Do you have your ID on you? No. All right. Go ahead and step over here and set your drink down and your phone. How come you don't have your ID with you? I lost it. I'm from Nashville. They've been arrested before anywhere in the United States. Yep. Yeah. What? Soliciting, loitering, no. what? Burglary, Nothing killing underage. somebody. Underage. So how old are you? Uh, I'll all be 19 in May. So you're only 18. Uh huh. You look young. I know. Have you ever had um, identification of any type? Yeah. They what? lost it when I went to jail. They lost okay. my little baggie what, what with all my stuff in it. What's Tennessee? Tape? Tennessee. So how long have you been out here tonight? I just got here. You got a PI? No, I work for myself, pimps. When we refer to uh, a pimp as a PI, also all the females already have a grasp or an idea of what exactly we're talking about. What do they call you? Bella. Bella? Uh-huh. So what's your real name? Alex. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm run your information and make sure you have no warrants. All right, but I'm going to strongly advise you, you're only 18 years old, and nowhere on a strip you can go. Absolutely nowhere. All right, I'm going to take your information. You're lying to me about who you are. I'm not. Okay, I'm going to arrest you. You know me anyway. I know, I know, I know you. So you know I'm not going to lie to you. That's right. Like one DP88, can you copy one for one suppliers, please? Yes, please. What you 9174. Officer Reyes with Metro Police. Who are you? Is that your PI? No. Who is that guy? They sound like a black dude. My, my stepdad's a black. Your stepdad. He calls you baby. But if there's nothing wrong and it's your stepdad and he wants to know where you're at, why would he hang up? Wouldn't he want to know why the police is answering your phone? I have no idea. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, I swear. I don't have no PI. That's not your stepdad. 
Bella. <laughs> you have a warrant. What? For it's what? For what? You're not going to bite me. You're not going to bite me. But you do have a warrant. All right. Sweet talking to her. Go in there. That is people. such bull****. So hold on, we're gonna get your paperwork started, and get you going. She's a known prostitute. We conducted a uh, records check that revealed that she has an active warrant for her trespassing from one of the properties. So she's gonna be transported to Clark County Detention Center so she can take care of her warrant. You ain't gonna try to run, are you? I don't run. I'm not a running bitch. What you got me, you got me. I don't care. I think going to jail is like paying a tax. Well, All right, let's go, young lady. Off we go. Let me take that for you. Yeah, okay, one more sip. One more sip, and yeah, you gotta go. We have zero tolerance for uh, prostitution. The positive thing of this is going to get up off the street tonight. So this is one female we're going to have to worry about for the rest of the night. <coughs> Look, you guys like you on prom day. Well, we just got a call at uh, the Planet Hollywood parking garage. A white male running around with no shirt on. Right now, he's uh, running from security, causing a disturbance. Sounds like a uh, description matches the uh, gentleman that we ran into earlier today. He's on the sixth floor right now, so we're going to go see if we can't find him. He's jacking a fire extinguisher off a wall right now. 7 here, 12, like 7, And we're still headed up the parking garage right now. and. Uh, we're gonna try and get up there before uh, he does any major damage to himself or others. All right, man, I'm just trying to wonder why you're running around in the garage pulling fire extinguishers off the wall. Because I'm pretty talented. A white male running around with no shirt, refusing to leave and like, causing a disturbance. He's on the sixth floor right now, so we're going to go see if we can't find him. On Stop right now! Roll over on your back! Tap out, tap out! Roll over on your back! Tap out! Take me to the top! Take me to the top! I will not stop. Okay, don't break, my... don't break my arm! Roll on your stomach! Oh. Okay, okay, I'm rolling! You're not letting stop me. Stop resisting. You're not letting me. Sir, stop resisting. Okay, keep laying there. No, no, no way. You need to sit down, relax. 7 Mary 33, uh, we'll be on the top floor. I'm going up. I'm not jumping. I'm jumping. You ain't jumping anywhere. Uh, working Las Vegas Strip is a very dynamic area. A lot of this job is dealing with people who are, um, having too much to drink, having too many drugs, and just getting into trouble. There's no telling what they, what they may or may not do. Help me! I need some help! We are going to help you. I'm the police. I really want my mom. I'm sorry. What's your name, buddy? Mike. Mike, what kind of drugs are you on today, man? None. None? Zero. All right, man. I'm just trying to wonder why you're doing this, man. I'm a idiot. Why are you an idiot? Because I'm pretty talented. OK, nobody said you weren't talented. But what I'm wondering is why you're running around in the garage pulling fire extinguishers off the wall. No, no, no. no. Move. Just lay on his legs. He's trying to get up and jump oh, off no, the roof. No, no, no. I'm not trying to get yeah. up. I win. Bro, we're just trying I beat to you, dude. Best of the best, too. You good? So we got a call about this guy at the north entrance. OK. By the time we get there, he's gone. Ali calls us about half an hour later, saying this guy's walked around the valet. We find him, pants around his ankles, underwear around his ankles. Pants around his ankles, underwear. Just holding it right there. Okay. He broke one of our uh, fire extinguisher boxes over there. About to take him down. That's when you shot up. Basically, he dumped his cell phone over on the empty lot uh, right just, next to Miracle Mile. Yeah. yeah, I got you, just to the south. And uh, just started running up and down the strip. Over, ran in front of probably two or three times. 
He urinated down in the parking lot. Okay. Um, he actually exposed himself. Okay. Hey, I appreciate it, sir. Yep. Thank you very much. Get off of me! I know who my friends are. I know who my family are. I love my family. Saw that gentleman earlier tonight. Uh, just kind of causing a small ruckus. Had a weird feeling that we're probably going to see him again. And, uh, you know, here we are a couple hours later on top of a parking structure in the middle of Las Vegas on the strip. And he tried to jump off a building. And he's up here breaking stuff and pulling his pants down and peeing. So right there, he's obstructing. Uh, we're going to take him to jail tonight and make sure that nothing further happens to him and he doesn't cause any further problems. We see your hands. Now. Why am I in cuffs and he's not? Because you're the one with the knife. He's not. I work at a boulevard. It's uh, a city that never sleeps. The boulevard never shuts down, never closes down. This little four mile of casinos uh, actually keeps the state of Nevada operating. To patrol something that important, I think, is uh, a lot of responsibility. Uh, you never get tired, you never get bored. It's always something new to do on the strip. Get a 35 to see if I was a male. Take a large knife with him. I just heard over the radio there was a male armed with a knife. So he was involved in a physical altercation with another male. Going up the uh, bridges here, we're going to go out on foot and see if we can make contact with the subject with the knife. Medium ability fall because of lack of Let me see your hands. Put your hands on top of your head. Now. Go on your knees. Do not move. You understand me? Where's the knife? Don't touch it. You understand? Put him down. The guy shoved me. I pulled my knife and ran away. That's what I did. Stand up. That shoved me. He, he hit me first. He shoved me. So I pulled my knife. He left me. Why don't we pull the knife out to protect myself? The guy's the arms are like the size of my legs. So a knife was going to do something? Keep him away from me. It did. All right, let's go, young man. We'll go back to our car. Which way? Whoops. This way. Well, he shoved me first. Uh, wait, why am I in cuffs and he's not? Because you're the one with the knife. He's not. Right. I understand so, that, but I'm not going to get first hand. I understand that. Just like you want to get your butt whooped, we want to make sure we're safe. So that's why we took your knife, took your knife. I don't believe that. All right. <laughs> we're going to figure this out and investigate him, see who the person he is, and also uh, look for the victim, the person who actually called. Did you guys call? I, I'm the one that called. OK, so what you see? He pulled the knife on the other gentleman. I guess he was trying to sell tickets to the um, guy. And so the guy was asking him another question, and he just became very irate. So that's when I walked over and I said, what's going on? He who came, who the came guy, irate? That gentleman over there. Okay. He pushed the other guy, like, get away from me. And he was like, you say you wanted this, you say you wanted this. And that's when the other guy, like, after he pushed him, he came towards him and he just popped. I okay. said, oh, yeah. And the other guy left already? Yeah, he went that way, and oh, okay. I went following this one. All right, no problem. So the, the, guy, the guy he put the knife on is gone. Yes, he walked on there. He was a tourist. I can hear his accent. He was a tourist. Okay. I gave him three guys and three girl passes. And then I says, I work for kids. He says, we don't want to tip you, so I'll take my passes. That's okay. He says, no problem. Then they didn't give me the other ones back. He started talking to me. You know they're not obligated to give you a tip. No, but I'm not obligated to give it to them either. So how long have you been doing this for? Eight years. OK. It's a complimentary inventory for ladies only. Yeah. So you're not selling these? Passes are free, guys. Tips are appreciated. But the point I'm trying to make to you I is know. when somebody is not as drunk as you think they are, and they're paying attention, and they don't want to spend money when they see certain words written on a card, they don't want to tip you, and then you get upset that they don't tip you like you did tonight, OK? That yeah, wasn't why I got problem. upset. Well, it's part of what you got upset. But this is why we have an issue with you, with you guys and our club passes. What happens with these guys, they all, uh, instead of just passing out passes to entice uh, tourists to come to the nightclub, to try to sell them for profit, what happens is these tourists get down to the nightclub and find out they're not even allowed in. After you said, back up or I'll stick back you. Back up or I'll stick you, is and what I said. he still wanted to come at you? And he still starts taking his jacket off. What did he say, anything? He says, I'm going to get you. I said, really? And then what I happened? says, I'm going to stick you. And his buddies grabbed him and pulled him away. 
I'm 57 years old. I'm not going to take from the little. This is a knife he had. Um, we have certain knives you hear are illegal. This is not illegal, actually, for this gentleman to carry. The main concern here is how this knife was brandished tonight. He might have all legitimate reasons of uh, having this on his persons and using it tonight, but this knife could do a lot of damage. Where are you registered to? Excuse me? Where are you registered to? What, address? Yes. My address, I've just moved. I'm oh, transient yeah. right now. How long have how long you been since it's you moved? It's been a while. OK. We ran his record. He was a person who was an ex-felon. Um, say in Nevada, you must notify the Metropolitan Police Department within 48 hours of you changing your address. Okay. I haven't changed it in a while because I haven't been in a spot in a while where I can go okay. call my own. All right. That's what I was waiting for. I bought a spot last week, but the place had bed bugs in it. So I left. I'm staying with a friend or staying with another friend. Yep. You got to register, though. I got my back against the wall, sir. I understand what you said. For, listen, for listen. somebody shoving me, I pulled my knife, and now I'm going through this. This is what you have dealt yourself, OK? I'm not, I'm not the reason why you have to register, OK? No. A crime that you committed yourself is the reason why you have to register. It's not my rule. I'm enforcing it, OK? So that's where we're at right now. I understand. All right. This gentleman will be arrested for ex-felon felon to change the dress. Let's get him off the street tonight as well, based on the fact that he did pull a knife on somebody tonight. Um, he, has a, he has a mouth on him where he's constantly causing conflict. We get him off the strip tonight. That way, he don't have to be out here bugging anybody else.